but uh, while I was charging it up again I ended up soldering the XT30 and finishing up attaching the camera and the onboard HD recording. This board is actually broken. I should be getting a new one in the mail tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't short this out. I just hooked it up for testing purposes. Uh, here goes nothing. Always my least favorite part of any build. Will it blow up? Two cell, 300 milliamp hour battery. No explosions. That's amazing. A little sniff test. Can't be too careful. All right. Charge up a couple lipos and uh, on to beta flight configuring nightmares. VTX tables and all that jazz. All right. First go with the little micro, no name for it yet. Made the power lead too long. It did fly last night, just in the condo, so there we go. This thing is useless. No DVR today. But the HD will be recording. Good old EV800s, haven't pulled these out in a long time. <coughs> well, here's hoping she actually flies. Here goes nothing. definitely need adjusting. They're really low. Forgot how much you can't see shit in analog. Not bad for a 1.6 inch. Seems kind of smooth. Forgot to set up OSD so I've got no idea what the battery's at. Oh boy. Should probably check the battery. This is so hard to fly. Okay, we're going to bring it in and check this battery. Thanks! So that flight put a 2S battery actually only down to 3.86. I'm kind of impressed. I expected it to be totally dead. Should probably give it another go. Yeah. 
looked at the footage yet, but that was probably one of the coolest first flights I've had from anything I've ever designed. It uh, definitely exceeded my expectations. Now, I was on the throttle probably about 70% just to keep it up. So she certainly doesn't have much punch. But I can see a lot of potential here for a little cinematic drone. Um, if you guys are interested, I'm going to post the STLs for everything and the uh, actual hardware that I used on this. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see your builds, your versions of it. Thanks, guys.